Tell me your story. My story? Whew. Well, for starters, I'm not from round these parts. Obviously. I had a life before. Wasn't bad at all, really. Actually, things were starting to look up for me. I'd just become a scavenger. I could go anywhere. I could eat. Most days. But... Guess the fates had other plans for me. Because just like that, poof. Gone. I banished. Wait, no, I vanished. No, I mean, I didn't vanish. I was banished. I, I, exiled, you know? Point is, one day I was in the rat commune, then the next day in the bottom of a well, barely breathing. Cold, dark, and I was alone. Except for a couple of slimy frogs. Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but frogs, they don't do cheese. Didn't even know what cheese is. Really? Like, really? <laughs> Anyways, what do you know? I made it out of that well. I mean, it wasn't my first escape from a cheese forsaken pit, but this time I didn't have Rust's snarky comments to get me ahead. <laughs> oh, that old rat. Not long after, I saw it. The house. Home. I was thrilled and well, a bit terrified, sorta. Also, relieved. But furs. It was so far away. She was so far away. Damn. To think we were about to elope, she and I. But we never saw it coming. I mean... We didn't exactly have a plan B, just in case a huge, vengeful, rat-eating feral beast tried to claw us to bits. But there I was, in the wild outside. Everything was wonderful, and yet so dangerous, and new to me. And the funny thing is, that was our dream, to live together in the outside. Every step I take gets me closer to them. But still, home feels far away. And I have to return to them. I know they are in danger. That evil threatening them right now is what landed me miles and miles away from home. It's all connected somehow, I know it is. And I have to stop it. That's why I must go back. That's why I have to find my way back home. 